The story begins not with a bang, but with a whisper. In late 2024, a robotic telescope in Chile noticed a faint, unassuming dot of light moving silently against the stars. This dot, designated 2024 YR4, was just another entry in a vast catalog of near-Earth objects. But as astronomers tracked its path, unease spread through the scientific community. Calculations suggested its orbit might cross Earth's path in December 2032. The chance of impact was small but not zero, a call to action in planetary defense. Suddenly this small dot became the most concerning object on our celestial watch list. By early 2025 headlines warned of a potential threat from the heavens, fueling public anxiety. The uncertainty was the hardest part, was this a minor event or a major catastrophe? For weeks, the impact probability increased, peaking at just over 3%. Risk corridors were plotted, including major cities like Bogota and Mumbai. The world held its breath. This was no longer an abstract problem, it was a tangible threat, a cosmic lottery ticket no one wanted to win. The quiet dot in the darkness had become a global concern. The world looked to the skies, reminded that the cosmos is not always serene. For a few tense weeks, the impact probability increased, peaking at just over 3%. Risk corridors were plotted, including major cities like Bogota and Mumbai. The world held its breath. This was no longer an abstract problem. The central problem was simple. What was 2024 YR4? Its brightness was the only clue, but brightness can be deceiving. Estimates placed its diameter between 40 and 90 meters, a critical gap. A 40-meter object could flatten a large area, a 90-meter one could obliterate a city. Beyond size, its composition was unknown, solid rock or a rubble pile. This distinction is crucial for planetary defense. Without knowing its size and composition, any defense plan was guesswork. Ground-based telescopes had done all they could. The world needed a more powerful tool, capable of peering into the infrared spectrum. The time had come to call upon our most advanced observatory. We needed to look at this asteroid not just as a point of light, but as a physical object. Ground-based telescopes had done all they could. They had refined its orbit, but they could not resolve its physical nature. The world needed a more powerful tool. It needed an eye in the sky capable of peering into the infrared spectrum. With the clock ticking, the International Asteroid Warning Network made a critical decision. They issued a formal request for emergency observations from the James Webb Space Telescope. This was an urgent plea for help, triggering a special protocol known as Director's Discretionary Time. The potential threat from 2024 YR4 was exactly such an event. The request was fast-tracked, and a team of experts was quickly assembled. Leading this team was Andy Rivkin, a planetary astronomer. Their plan was elegant and effective. They would use two of the telescope's powerful instruments to create a complete profile of the asteroid. The strategy was to measure two different kinds of light from the asteroid. First, they would use the near-infrared camera to measure the sunlight reflecting off the asteroid's surface. At the same time, they would use the mid-infrared instrument to measure the heat being radiated by the asteroid. By comparing these two measurements, they could solve the puzzle. They could finally determine its true size, independent of how bright or dark its surface was. In March 2025, the moment arrived. The James Webb Space Telescope received its new instructions. Its golden mirror swiveled towards its new target, 2024 YR4. The telescope locked onto the asteroid, its instruments cooling down to detect faint infrared light. The observation was a masterpiece of cosmic choreography. The NIRCAM instrument gathered photons of reflected sunlight. Simultaneously, the MIRI instrument measured the faint thermal glow. The data streamed back to Earth, eagerly awaited by scientists. By late February, the risk was already considered near zero. Earth, it seemed, was safe from a direct hit. But this did not make JWST's mission any less critical. On April 24, 2025, NASA held a press conference. The mood was one of scientific triumph. The team led by Andy Rivkin had finished their analysis of the JWST data. They announced that asteroid 2024 YR4 was approximately 60 meters in diameter. This measurement was precise, resolving the great uncertainty. It was not a regional threat nor a city killer, it was a 60-meter object, roughly the size of a 15-story building. An impact from an asteroid of this size would still be a major event. But with the impact risk ruled out, the world could breathe a sigh of relief. The JWST data provided more than just a size measurement. The thermal information suggested that 2024 YR4 was a rubble pile. 
It was not a solid rock but a loose agglomeration of boulders and dust. This detailed characterization was a goldmine for planetary defense scientists. The mission to observe 2024 YR4 had not only averted a potential panic, but it also provided invaluable data. The episode with 2024 YR4 served as an invaluable test of our planetary defense systems. It was a fire drill on a cosmic scale. For years, scientists had been developing protocols for this kind of scenario. This event forced the global community to put its plans into action. The system performed beautifully. The detection itself was a success. The rapid follow-up observations demonstrated international cooperation. The International Asteroid Warning Network acted as the central nervous system. The role of the James Webb Space Telescope was the highlight of the response. It proved that JWST is more than just a tool for exploring the universe. It's also a powerful guardian, providing critical intelligence about potential threats. Ultimately, the 2024 YR4 event left us stronger and better prepared. Just months after the drama of 2024 YR4, JWST delivered another spectacular result. In August 2025, scientists announced a breakthrough in understanding asteroid families. They confirmed a connection between two famous near-Earth asteroids, Bennu and Ryugu. These were the targets of ambitious sample return missions. Scientists had noticed similarities between Bennu and Ryugu. They believed these objects were siblings, born from a larger parent body. The prime suspect was an ancient asteroid named Polana. JWST's spectroscopic capabilities confirmed the connection. The chemical signature of Polana matched the samples from Bennu and Ryugu. It was a stunning piece of detective work linking a telescope in space with samples in a lab. The events of 2025 illustrate the dual nature of asteroid research. On one hand, asteroids are potential threats. The work of planetary defense is a vital matter of survival. It requires vigilance, technology, and international cooperation. Our ability to find and characterize these objects is our first line of defense. On the other hand, asteroids are storytellers. They are time capsules, preserving the raw materials from the birth of our solar system. The discovery that Bennu and Ryugu came from Polana helps us piece together the history of the asteroid belt. These cosmic storytellers carry profound secrets. By studying them, we learn about the history of our planet and the origins of life. The James Webb Space Telescope has proven itself to be both a guardian and a historian. The lessons of 2025 are clear, we must continue to look up and study these celestial travelers.